Hey, hey everyone, Arthur Morris here. I hope all is well. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at solving a word problem using a quadratic equation with irrational roots. So, uh, we have a model rocket that is launched with an initial upward velocity of 126 feet per second. And that's already included in the equation here with 126 times t, which represents time. The rocket's height, h in feet, uh, is given by the following model. So, h which represents the height that's given by 126 times t, which represents time minus 16 t squared. So find all the values of t or the times for which the rocket's height is 50 feet. So the first thing we want to do is to substitute. So we have the rocket's height equals 50 feet. We want to replace h with 50. So now we have the equation um, 50 equals 126t minus 16t squared. And again, I like to have my leading coefficient to be positive, so I'm going to subtract 126t and add 16t squared to each side. So I'm going to do the same thing on the right-hand side. So that becomes positive 16t squared minus 126t plus 50 and that goes to zero equals zero. So I just did it on both sides here. So 126t plus 16t squared. All right, so now that allows me to identify my A, B, and C. And then if I have A, B, and C, then I just substitute into my quadratic formula. Now, uh, finding all the values of t, and again, t represents time, so we want that time to be positive. Uh, so you see this rocket is going up. It's going to hit 50 feet at some point, but it's also going to come back down. So let's see what happens here. So we have x equals negative b. So b is negative 126 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So again, uh, negative 126 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times uh, a or 2 times 16 all righty from there we need to start simplifying so here we have negative times negative, so that makes positive 126. Uh, calculate inside there, 120, negative 126 squared makes positive 15,876. I have negative times positive times positive, so this will stay negative or minus 3,200. all over 32. So I multiply uh, negative 4 times positive 16 times positive 50, so that's negative, so that will stay minus right there. All right. And we are rounding, is that correct? So I'm going to separate this uh, while I do this calculation. So 126 plus one thousand or twelve thousand six hundred seventy six all over thirty two or one hundred twenty six I'll go underneath here so or 126 minus 12,676 all over 32. So from there, you need to plug those values into your calculator. And you would end up with the decimal numbers of 7.455 here and 0 0.419 for that second calculation. So again, we want to round to the nearest hundredth. 
So x is, is approximately 7.46, or x is about uh, 0 0.42. And what that says is that um, at 7.46 or 0 .0 and 0 0.42 seconds, that rocket is at 50 feet. Okay. All righty. Let's look at another problem, another word problem. So here we're going to solve a word problem using a quadratic equation. Again, we have a ball that is thrown uh, from a height of 105 feet with an initial downward velocity of 9 feet per second. Again, you can see in the formula that the 9 is already accounted for, where it's multiplied times 2. And uh, it says the ball's height is seconds is given by the following so we have the equation here how long after the ball is thrown does it hit the ground so if the ball hits the ground then that is at zero feet the ground would be at zero feet that's the height of the ground zero so in this one i'm going to replace the height with zero now again i like my uh, leading coefficient to be negative right now my leading coefficient is positive or like my leading coefficient to be positive sorry about that right now it's negative uh, so I'm just going to um, let's first of all let's rewrite this and we have and flip it around negative 16 t squared minus 9 t plus because 1 over 105 is positive equals 0 so if I multiply this by negative 1 and multiply this by negative 1. That's legal. Once I do the same thing to both sides, that'll change the sign of each number here, each term. And anything times 0 is still 0. So A is equal to 16. B is equal to 9. C is equal to negative 105. And then once you know what your A, B, and C are, Take it, plug it into your quadratic formula, and simplify. So negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 9 squared minus 4 times 16 times negative 105. So 9 squared is 81. Now here, when I multiply, I'm looking at that 4 as being negative 4 times 16 times negative 105. So I have two negatives there, so I know it's going to be, pl going to be plus. And then multiply, and I get 6,720. all over 32. All right, from there, let's go ahead and separate this. So nine plus um, 6,801, the square root of 6,801 all over 32 or x equals 9 minus the square root of 6,801 all over 2. 32, sorry. And then place that in your calculator. So you want to calculate that in your calculator. And you should get, uh, for this first one, 2.295. For the second one, you should get negative 2.858. All right, so we are looking at time. We are looking at time, how long, and we know time cannot be negative. So this second answer, where I have negative 2.858, is not valid. It won't be a part of my solution. So the only time that I'm looking at it is this positive time. And if I round that to the nearest hundredth, that is 
uh, the nine rounds up to uh, this five makes this nine round up, which makes a th two round up. So x equals about 2.30. Seconds. All right, so the time is about 2.30. And I sh really should have used um, t here uh, to make that correct since that's the, what's in my equation. And I'm just going to change that. You don't have to, uh, but I'm just going to change that to t. And I say that because that's what we were looking for. We were trying to solve this thing for this equation for t. And the same thing with the last problem we should have used. Uh, I think we were looking at time in the last problem as well. So, yeah, so we should have used T there as well. All righty, good people. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Thank you.